I am Jordan Larson and you're listening to the Ace Space Podcast. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ace Space, the volleyball podcast brought to you by CEV, where every episode we catch up with a legend of the game, past or present. And once again, it is our great pleasure to be joined by Jordan Larson. Today, we're going to talk about teammates, so hopefully she'll be nice about them. But if she isn't nice, then maybe that'll get more listeners. Either way, welcome back, Jordan. How are you? Yeah, good. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. Dan, you're awfully quiet over there. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Dave. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Uh, you'll be listening to this because it is a podcast. It is a, uh, it's an audio-only medium, but we're recording it uh, with video so I can see these guys who've got dressed up for the occasion and I'm just in a plain t-shirt. I feel a little bit underdressed. I'll uh, perhaps dust off my dinner jacket for the next one. But also, Dan, you've got some sunshine coming in through the curtain. It really does look like a blissful way to spend an afternoon. Oh, it's been great here. I mean, I uh, have a nice window in, into my living room where I'm recording this and uh, you know, just letting the light in. It's great. And this podcast is a window to the soul of Jordan Larson. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> how are you doing over there? Any more golf to tell us about? Yeah, no, I wish there was. Yeah, I'm excited to go out. We're going out tomorrow again. So, yeah, you know, just trying to hit all the golf courses. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me. Well, if you shoot scratch, you'll have to let us know. Uh, right, first things first. Have you got your phone with you, Jordan? I do. Sadly. Excellent. Dan, you've got a challenge, haven't you? Talk us through what we want Jordan to do. Okay, so for the WhatsApp uh, challenge, you have to send a message to one of your group chats, say you're currently on a podcast. Can you describe me as a teammate in one word? You can say it in your, in your own words, however you want, but that's, that's the gist of it. So I don't know what different group chats you're in and, and, or who you want to message, but, but that's, that's the challenge. Good luck with that. Do you know what? I'm, I'm actually going to do it as well, Jordan, but I don't think my answers are going to be, uh, well, radio friendly or podcast friendly. But let us know when you've sent that message. And uh, while, while we wait for that, we can introduce the next section, which is called the Block Bunch, um, where we're going to ask you which, uh, which teammates, if you were having a get together um, from your past, would you have to just have a nice dinner, dinner out on the town? Yeah. Um, sorry, let me go back to the question. So I'm supposed to ask, <laughs> what do they think of me as a teammate, right? Yeah, describe you in one word. Describe me in one word. Is there anybody whose answer you're particularly <laughs> dreading? Uh, I just don't know if some people will respond, but... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I am curious to see what people uh, will say. Maybe, I don't know, some people, they'll look at their phone and they just won't respond, you know? But they've just responded in the group message, so if they don't respond, you know they're in trouble. I'll be, I'll be chatting with them later. Um, yeah, so talking about who I would go to dinner with, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would probably say Maya again, Maya Poyak. Uh, she just can sit at dinners for a really long time, which I always appreciated, and good conversation. Um, I would say uh, there was a couple of my Turkish teammates, um, Gözde Yamaz, um, Nestle Han, uh, Nilay, um, goodness, from the past. Um, and then probably some of my like college teammates um you guys don't know them but who's this joining oh, us oh what do we have uh, another uh, another person joining the chat oh yep. wow. here we are <laughs> speaking of the greatest of all time oh <laughs> heavy words heavy words i would say hi guys hi what hi. a lo what a lovely surprise uh, just out of curiosity were you on the whatsapp message list that that jordan just sent out uh not really i don't think Ooh. so at least yeah I, I wasn't i wasn't checking my cell phone to be honest so okay no pressure but if you had to describe jordan as a teammate in one word what would it be oh she's a great teammate i mean she's a very um reliable uh teammate uh, she's technically great 
Um, she knows what her duties are and always takes uh, responsibility on the court. She's a, a great uh, support to each of her teammates. Really a pleasure to, to play with. I mean, those are such lovely words, but I was hoping for something a little <laughs> bit crueler, if I'm honest with you. And, uh... Are you ain't going to get anything cruel from me uh, regarding Jordan. <laughs> so Jordan, my... I disappoint you. <laughs> So Jordan, Maya was the, was the first name that you came up with when we were planning our uh, imaginary dinner party here. Why is yeah. that? Uh, she just has, I don't know, she loves conversation. She can sit at it, I don't know. She can eat, it's impressive how much she can. <laughs> I'm always so jealous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. I mean, everybody's always surprised of how much uh, food I can really swipe away. It's crazy. <laughs> But just obviously great conversation and uh, we always like, yeah, just have a great time and can sit there for hours. So I just always appreciated that. If you can still eat, just cherish that metabolism. Uh, Jordan, I heard a, a notification yeah. then. Was that yeah. a WhatsApp message back? Who have we heard from? Yeah. Uh, so the question was, are we answering for you? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> Experienced and ambitious. And... Oh. One girl said, thoughtful and experienced. That means I'm old. And <laughs> you experienced, yeah. Uh, uh, Jordan, seen as Maya said so many nice things about you, you've got uh, one word to describe her as a teammate. What would it be? Oh, geez, one word. Oh, man. Just solid. I mean, solid and like everything that she does, right? Like she just, the old, like if you had to put like, like the ultimate professional, like under one umbrella, like you would put Maya because she just, like everything that she did, it was like to the best extreme. And I, I talked about you on a podcast the other day. I was doing it on a podcast. It was like a meeting with like a 15 year old club team. And they're like, uh, who was like the best player you have played with? I was like, oh, you know, I spoke about you because I just like, as a middle blocker, like oftentimes, you know, in practice, you're only in for part of the time, but half the time, like you were out and like still like crushing it on the sideline, like doing all these like warm up things, like just tr trying to stay active. And I just was always so impressed by your work ethic and uh, just your drive and ability to like calm a situation or just, I don't know, you just, you're you're really good. <laughs> I'm blushing. I mean, people don't see it, but I'm actually blushing. <laughs> I had no idea, Dan, that this was just going to be a mutual appreciation society. Should we just start saying nice things about each other as well? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's it's so positive. It's great. I, I like I like the vibes for sure. Yeah, yeah, me too. Um, right then, so let's let's talk about t talk about teammates then. Um, as somebody who's never played the game professionally, uh, talking about me, obviously, uh, volleyball seems like the ultimate team sport because if somebody's head goes down, there's nowhere to hide and you can sort of lift each other up. And after every point, it seems like you reset uh, and go again. Uh, we'll start with you then, Jordan. Is that one of the things that appealed to you about the game from the very beginning when you were young? Yeah, for sure. And I think like when uh, players ask me that question like what's like when you get down or you get frustrated like what do you rely on and I think for me I just I love that like I can rely on a teammate and they can pull me out or um, I just really uh, love that team aspect of it you're not in it alone and I think you win and you lose you know together so I think that's the coolest part. Maya? Yeah I definitely say that uh, the best thing to do when you're struggling is just to rely on your teammates Sometimes uh, you just have a bad day. I mean, you did all the prep uh, that you were supposed to do, but uh, things just get out of control and there's nothing that you can do. And in that moment, the best thing is to stay close to your teammates and just try to give them something positive out of uh, the, the, that whole situation. Maybe it's gonna be a day that you're not able to uh, spike well, but uh, you know, you try to serve well and count on the fact that the teammates uh, will do the rest uh, or something else. There's always uh, a way to give each other a hand and that's the beauty of a team sport. 
have you two got any specific memories of each other from specific games? It could be like the day leading up to the game or like one particular point. Is there anything that sort of stands out from your time together on court? I do remember one, one, one point in particular, I have to say. Oh, go on <laughs> then. Yeah, it was, it was um, uh, the quarterfinals. Uh, actually, the match with uh, the quarterfinals of Champions League uh, in Zurich. And it was really like the, the best example of that I could give you, um, what I was talking about uh, just, just a minute before. It was one of those days that nothing was going and we were playing so bad and me in particular, and things were just not going and there, there was nothing that we could do, but we kept fighting and fighting and fighting and somehow we made it to the, to the tie break. And uh, the last point, there are many funny pictures from, from that point because it was like an emotional breakdown afterwards. <laughs> I went on a serve and uh, like uh, I was, I was honestly, I was so stressed. Like my, my shoulder was not going well, but it actually helped me in that moment because I did such a weird movement and the ball just dropped. Uh, nobody was really expecting it to drop that quickly. And it just fell down, and we did an ace, and it was the last uh, the, the last point of the match. And one of the most beautiful photos is actually me and Jordan hugging each other. I was like crying out of <laughs> the desperation from the match and the happiness that we actually made it. And uh, it's, it's actually one of the, the most beautiful photos that I have uh, from the court. You know what photo she means, Jordan? Yeah, I actually saw like someone posted on Twitter the other day, like of Maya's like I'm like holding on to her neck and she's just like one arm, you know, in the air. I wish you guys could see me, but yeah, it was so oh my gosh. It was and like we uh we cracked up about that last point because like they were just stunned on the other side and also us, we were like, Wait, that just <laughs> fell? Like what just happened? So yeah, it was oh man, it was it was crazy. I, I love this game. Um, is there is there any difference then between your kind of relationship on and off court? Like, what's the difference between Jordan the teammate and Jordan the friend, or my the teammate and my the friend? And I've just heard another notification. If that's a WhatsApp, I want to hear about it. But after after you've answered that question, oh, have you guys gone quiet? Jordan, you want to start or? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I, I lost your signal for a second there. Just, just more editing for Dan. Don't worry about it. Um, so, so, Maya, do you want to go first? Yeah, okay. Uh, so, Jordan on the court um, is, um, I would say, like, when, when people notice her, people think that she's actually quite serious, which is not really the case. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I was the person that was really tending to like bring the fun uh, on the court and outside of the court. But uh, Jordan is really like professional and serious on the court. And for people that maybe don't know her at first glance, she might seem like a very serious person. But outside the court, she's total fun. Uh, she's a very lovely person to uh, spend time with. She's a great friend. And uh, she also makes a lot of jokes and loves to, to uh, socialize. So I think that, um, yeah, the, the first impression on the court uh, gives an image of a more reserved person than uh, she actually is outside of the court. And Maya, do you, do you think it helps to have a more reserved uh, person on the court? Does that help calm you down during batches? Uh, do you play off that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, having uh, too many people with uh, stronger characters might be, uh, or very open characters on the court uh, can be a very negative thing. I mean, there always has to be a proper balance. Uh, not everybody can shout and scream and uh, make jokes at the same time because otherwise people would not be able to focus. So, of course, uh, some, someone like her is always more than welcome in the, in the court. Yeah, because Jordan, in our first, uh, in our, another episode, she mentioned that she likes to have someone that she can, is really energetic that she can feed off of. Yeah, I said that, like, I would feed off of you and, I don't know, just like you're, like, you have a good way of, like, still being very, like, focused, but, like, bringing lots of emotion. And I, I tend to gravitate towards people like that because I 
don't necessarily like carry that quality necessarily sometimes I can get intense but um yeah just I appreciate that and I've always appreciated that about teammates so along the way yeah, well, I was very often also like uh, snapped by the coaches that uh, like I, I joke too much on the court. So, I mean, sometimes it's, it's a positive thing, uh, especially for uh, for teammates, but often the coaches require much more attention and, and focus, which, which was actually the case sometimes that people would just lose their mind because I was joking too much. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. Although I bet you when you won, they didn't pick up on it. But when you didn't win, that was when uh, that was when yeah, you got in of course, trouble. Of course, we uh, need to find reasons why we lost. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were too damn hilarious. That's why we yeah. lost today. Uh, so, so Maya again gave a lovely answer, Jordan. Uh, what's the difference between Maya as a teammate and Maya as a friend? Yeah. Uh, I think there's a lot more, yeah, there's similarities. I mean, I think, like she said, she likes to joke. She likes to joke off, off the court as well. Um, but again, just, like, I think I can carry on a pretty serious conversation on the court with Maya and a very serious conversation. I think she's very, uh, very similar on and off, if I had to, had to say it. I don't know if Maya, do you agree with that? I feel like you are. Yeah, yeah. I'm a clown in both situations, <laughs> let's say, like that. <laughs> Right, Jordan, what did that text message say? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's about me anymore. Ah, they were trying okay. to get a workout together. Uh, yeah, no, it was like, so we have weekly workouts, and so it was uh, Peloton workouts, and so I got two answers, but yeah. Are you guys using the free trial? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have a talk with them later. <laughs> Peloton and Zwift look like hell. There's like at least, at least if you go on a bike ride, there's an end, and you can, you know, you're not just, you're not just sat in your bedroom, setting your lungs on fire. Honestly, it just looks so hard. <laughs> um, so obviously, you two have got a fantastic uh, relationship. Of course, I forget that not everyone can see. I'm talking about Jordan and Maya, not uh, like Jordan and Dan. Although I'm sure you guys get on very well too. Um, do you think teammates? have to have that kind of relationship to be a successful team. Uh, you want to answer that or do you want me? I don't know. I, have, uh, I, I already know what to answer. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. I, I, I don't think you have to. Um, I think it's uh, cool that we can walk away. I can walk away from some teams and have some really cool relationships, but I don't think it's necessary. But I do think there needs to be a common respect across all levels. Um, respect what they bring to the game you may not always like the way they approach the game or how they do certain things, but at the end of the day, like you're there to do a job basically, and that's to win. And if they're not getting it done, you know, on the court, then you have some right to say something. But I think ultimately, I think there has to be a respect level. Hmm. I also think it's, uh, it's not uh, necessary. I've seen many uh, teams that performed uh, really, really well. Uh, and I knew they had a bunch of, uh, disagreements uh, inside of uh, the team uh, but from my personal experience uh, I can say that being very close uh, brings a different uh, responsibility also towards your teammates because when you respect them both uh, as, as uh, teammates as well as friends uh, then you just like perform in a different way and I and I just saw that only teams that really, really get along with each other are capable of doing miracles on the court, like uh, changing completely uh, the way the game is uh, heading because sometimes like you're losing and you manage to recover an impossible result, things like that. I've seen mostly in teams that really have a strong uh, friendship uh, bond. Yeah, my, I, my yardstick for that is... Um is the Olympic qualifiers, so the European Olympic qualifiers in, in January, where that Turkish team were down and out against Poland. Then all of a sudden they defend five match points and then they're heading to Tokyo or the French team in the semi-final in the men's uh, side of the, of the qualifier. They're two sets down. All of a sudden it's, it's like they have a word with each other. They transform and, and yeah, perhaps you can only, 
do that when you've got a really sort of strong emotional or, or friendship bond with those people who are in the same jersey as you. Um, here's a bit of a sidetrack then. I reckon you two would make a pretty handy beach volleyball pair. Have you ever done it for fun? I didn't play volleyball, uh, beach volleyball a couple of times, but I'm sure that like my setting technique would be fault. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a like a classic indoor volleyball technique, so I would have to work on that. But there was a lot of wish and a lot of passion on the sand. I have to say. <laughs> like nobody could blame me for that. But <laughs> you know, I I am looking for a beach partner. So if you're open, no, I'm just kidding. Oh my God! It's an Ace Space exclusive. Wow. Oh, wow. Um, oh. I uh, I played in college a little bit. They were they were trying to do like this test event uh, before it became an NCAA sport. So uh, I played two seasons, uh, my junior and senior year in college with actually Sarah Pavin. Sarah Pavin was my first ever beach partner, and we ended up winning that tournament. And uh, obviously, you can tell she's pretty good now. So uh, yeah. Yeah, having the current world champion as your uh, <laughs> introduction to beach is not a uh, is not a yeah, bad way to start. Not a bad way. Yeah, I agree. Can you imagine how much fun you two would have on tour, though? I mean, come on, you gonna come live in the states? I have a room for you. Why not? There, there's a beach ten minutes from my house. Okay, let's let's talk to my director and we can. Okay. <laughs> Ma Maya, where do you think the closest beach is to us right now? Oh my God, don't talk about that. <laughs> That's the part that I'm missing the most. But I, I really have to say that these couple of uh, last days I've, I've been enjoying beautiful weather and, and outside uh, bikes, uh, bike riding, which was really great. So, yeah. But no beaches, unfortunately. <laughs> Jordan, you have to go to Croatia with Maya. You have to. She's already invited. It's happening. Because where are you from? Is it split? Yes. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Go enjoy split, then hop on a ferry, go to the Isle of Brach and some of the beach. Oh, yeah, you have to. Absolutely. She gave very good uh, advices, and that's all on the list. So. <laughs> Maybe, I will. I, need, I will. I will. Ah, oh, fantastic stuff. Um, who keeps getting text messages? Is that still Jordan? Yeah. No? Okay. Uh, we're, we're doing a cooking class as a national team this Wednesday, and we're learning how to make dumplings. And so ah. uh, I just got a text about uh, a cabbage delivery. So no, everybody's ignoring me about the, the podcast. Sorry, guys. Uh, no, that's, that's fair enough. It was nice to know that they all, uh, they all think you're valued and experienced, which, you know, what more could you, you possibly ask for from your teammates? Uh, right then, thank you very much for joining us. But before you both leave, I'd like to ask you just a couple of quick questions uh, to get some names out of you, because really, we just want a name drop. We've got two world-class athletes on the podcast. Why not find out uh, what they're all about? Um, can you both, uh, starting with you, Jordan, name a player you've never really met but you've got massive respect for. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I would say uh, Igono. I've never really met her. I think uh, obviously she's done some fantastic things so far. And uh, uh, obviously they were in Rio as well. And uh, you could just see like how much potential at that point she had. And you can see now how great she is and so uh yeah i think she has a, many years of success uh, to come and yeah i would be really curious to see what's gonna happen for fans of this podcast please make sure that you head over to the cev's instagram for my exclusive unscripted with igonu that is out now so anyway Maya, do you have a player you've not met who uh, who you really respect yeah uh... I think Zhu Ting is a, is a great player. I had a chance to uh, play once against her before uh, I retired. Uh, so yeah, I'm curious to see how, what type of person she is because on the court she's, she was really impressive. Now lately we, I didn't have the chance to see her because uh, she was performing in, uh, she came back to, to China. But uh, yeah, 
she, she really looked like an impressive player. Dan, should we try an off the tape? All right, let's try it, Dave. Yeah. Uh, what, who or what is Triple Trouble? Oh. I want to answer. Yeah, you answer. <laughs> so it was, it was Jordan, uh, me, and uh, Nestle, our, our third teammate in Esajibashi. Uh, basically, uh, the three of us were really, when we were close to each other, we were really like a trouble on the court. And that's why uh, we got the nickname Triple Trouble because we were just constantly joking and the coach was going, going crazy with us and he had to like schedule the practice. So the three of us would somehow not stay close to each other when we were performing exercises. <laughs> There's some yeah. good pranks uh, played during that time. Oh goodness! The, it was unbelievable. It was so fun. We played. The, we had this one exercise where it was literally just three people on the court. It was like a defensive drill, and uh, our strength coach was like, he would stand at like an area four, or area two, and we would one person would dig, and then the other person would set, and then we would go cover a ball. Well, our strength coach would be the guy to cover it, and he was just sitting there talking so much crap. Like he would like tip the ball like super hard, and then Maya and us like Nestle, we'd all look at each other like, whose ball is that? Like it was just like constant batter back and forth, and oh man, but it was it made practice so much fun. And these two idiots, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it was so funny. Uh, who was the instigator then? Nestle, I feel like. I don't know. You, you two, I think. Oh, so uh, what you're saying is you two are completely innocent and you're blaming <laughs> the person that isn't here. That's what's going on. I don't know. What do you think, Matt? It's not me. Let's blame it on Nestle. I mean, the best <laughs> thing is always blame the person that is not uh, with us at the moment. So. Dan, I feel as though we're learning a lot about these two characters. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Who once famously said, it's all my fault, and most importantly, why did she say it? You don't remember, it's all my fault. Mm, I don't. Remind me. Poland. <laughs> Champions League match and the morning after. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're going to have to furnish us with more detail than this, I'm afraid. It's what the listeners want. Maya? Yeah, well, okay. Um, <laughs> I can say it now that I don't have a coach that can actually... Uh, <laughs> get angry because of that so we had a match in Poland and uh, and it was the first time that Jordan actually went out uh, with us uh, and uh, we ended up seeing some of my Croatian friends that uh, played over there the night uh, after the match is usually the night when people get loose a little bit and uh, that particular night I got loose a little bit too much so uh, we came back quite late uh, in the in the hotel. There were weird scenes uh, happening during the whole night. Uh, DJs that were actually holding one of my friends uh, mm -hmm. while while she was dancing, almost falling. Uh, and he was like twice. Uh, she, she was twice uh, his height. Um, a naked guy with his pants uh, down that most of us didn't even uh, notice on the street, just some random guy with his pants uh, off. And a lot of um, emotional, friendly moments when probably too much uh, alcohol is, uh, is in your body. And, um, and then in the, uh, the morning after, as a real professional, I actually got up and I went biking uh, because my conditioning coach uh, advised uh, that I should uh, do the biking before the long trip uh, in order to prevent my hip injury. So with a, with a really important uh, headache, I went to, uh, to, to bike uh, and I went back to the, to the room, uh, barely walking uh, with my uh, eyes uh, really like dropping and my teammate, my, my roommate we, uh, that was nicely looked at me and she was like, I feel so sorry for you. And I was like, 
And I said, don't worry, it's all my fault. <laughs> I mean, I just <laughs> accepted the fact that I had to suffer that morning. <laughs> End of story, it's all my fault. So oh. it, was, it was one of the best uh, phrases from, uh, from that season because everybody just kept, kept remembering how, uh, how I accepted actually my fault and end of story. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, that seems like a good place to end this particular journey. Uh, Maya, Jordan, thank you so much for giving us a little insight into your friendship. And uh, so what have we learned today, Dan? These two are going on beach tour together um, and they're going to start by visiting each other in Croatia and the States respectively. Can we all agree that, that was, that's what's going to happen? I'm yeah. down. Let's go. Let's go. Jordan's in, Maya's in, uh, and Dan and I will come and watch. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of The Ace Space. There are loads more with Jordan where we find out not just about the teammates, but about her success, how she got started. So make sure you stick with us on The Ace Space. Uh, Maya, anything to tell the fans? Well, keep uh, listening to us because this podcast really, really rocks. Oh, that's uh, that's going in the soundbite review, Dan. Make sure you chop that up and send it, it to the it. masses. Uh, we will speak to you all again soon. In the meantime, stay in touch because we love to hear from you. But until next time, goodbye. <laughs>